Hi, I'm Bert True with the law firm True & Associates. A few weeks ago, I posted a video on my blog about the Missouri Supreme Court finding that damage caps in medical malpractice lawsuits are unconstitutional. So in Missouri, medical malpractice damages are unlimited. Kansas is a much different story. Not only does Kansas have a limit on the damages that juries can award against medical providers, the limit is very low, much lower than Missouri's limit was. And the limit has not been raised since it was put in place back in the 1980s. The limit on non-economic damages in Kansas is $250,000. The Kansas Supreme Court was given an opportunity to remove the damage cap in a recent case called Miller v. Johnson. Amy Miller, who lives in Topeka, sued her doctor, Carolyn N. Johnson, because she removed the wrong ovary. So Miller was supposed to have a right ovary removed in surgery, but Dr. Johnson mistakenly removed Miller's left ovary. This is an obvious case of medical malpractice, and the jury agreed. The jury said that Miller's damages were $760,000. The judge reduced the non-economic portion of the judgment, which was $575,000, to the damage limit of $250,000. This cost Miller $375,000. And it thwarted the jury's attempt to compensate Miller for her injuries. Miller appealed to the Kansas Supreme Court. The Kansas Supreme Court upheld the damage limit despite the fact that the state constitution guarantees the right to a trial by jury. The state constitution also says that an injured person has the right to be made whole and a right to damages for both economic and non-economic losses. Non-economic losses are the human losses, the worst part of her damages, the fact that she cannot have children now. So there is a stark contrast between Missouri and Kansas when it comes to medical malpractice cases. Missouri allows unlimited damages and Kansas limits non-economic damages to $250,000 with no allowance for inflation. I'm Bert True with the law firm True & Associates. If you have a suggestion for a topic, please post it in the comments below. I'll also put the link to the Kansas case, Miller v. Johnson, in the comments below. If you're watching on my blog, you can subscribe to my blog by email. And you can also file a blog using Google+. If you'd like to discuss something in private, you can just click the gadget below on my blog. You enter your telephone number and Google will connect us by telephone. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications of new videos. And you can click the links on this video to view my law firm's television commercial or other interesting videos on personal injury, wrongful death, and medical malpractice topics. You can follow me on Twitter at Bert True and on Google Plus at Bert True. You'll get noticed when I post a new video. I'm Bert True with True and Associates.